putting ketchup on your steak thing, that's just don't eat the steak. Don't even eat it if you need ketchup on it. That's how I feel about it. I, 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 I don't even know what to think about that. <laughs> that just, yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. That basically invalidates the entire person. That's basically. Yeah, that's basically, exactly. He's a good quarterback, but he eats uh, steak with ketchup. So no. <laughs> And it's probably, yeah, I don't know. Maybe he really likes Chiefs, that, that, the, the that Chiefs, Chiefs colors. Red. So, yeah, he, he like, well, I have to Maybe. have red somewhere on this meal, so I'll, I'll, th- I'll throw <laughs> some ketchup on. Just put ketchup on everything. That's funny. I just had mac and cheese with uh, buffalo um, with, like, with, like, hot sauce. And that didn't go See, well that either. that sounds good. Yeah. You know it, I don't even, I don't even eat macaroni and cheese. I don't even like it. I know that's weird, but. Yeah, that's weird. But I bet it would be good with buffalo sauce. I just don't like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think I think it, it was I, I I think it was um the place I was eating it at was uh I think if again in theory on paper it sounds good, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the execution wasn't great. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, Rebecca Jones. At Bronco Becca, you are uh, you're you're uh, you're awesome on Twitter. You're oh, thank you. You're like the uh, you're like a fantasy football uh, fountain of knowledge, and uh, yeah, you're just you're just one of those people on Twitter that's like 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 a like a must uh, follow. Oh, that's so sweet. It's funny because I just joined Twitter actually in August. And what happened was I have like, I have like my husband and two friends that play fantasy. That's it. So I text them all like leading up to fantasy drafts. And my one friend kept telling me like, you need to get on Twitter. Like you just need it. You just need it. So I finally got on there and then I'm like, cool. Now I just have a forum where like anytime I have a thought about sports, I just tweet it. Like I, tw- I have no filter when it comes to the sports stuff. That's all I tweet. And I have like, so many followers i was really surprised honestly but it's cool i love the fantasy sports community on twitter i'm on there all the time <laughs> it's great it's great there are so many yeah there, there are so many people talking about fantasy sports yeah. it's just it's just everybody's a great so one. nice it's such a great community too like everybody's so accepting and nice and like you can talk about all your ideas and have your little debates but everybody's nice about it and like one thing I didn't know was how much media there is like how many articles and podcasts and all that stuff I had no idea when I joined Twitter there's so much of that information out there it's really cool to see people grinding it out and doing stuff they love talking about fantasy it's it's awesome one thing I do is if there's a, a, a lineup decision I'm not sure about I just throw up a poll it's like, yep. hey, who should I start here? And then, and you know, yeah, people will vote and stuff, but they'll give like great analysis of of why, yeah. you know. And that that's the thing. It's like, you know, if, if someone, you know, I know the Steelers and you know the Broncos. I'm sure, and I'm sure you know other teams well, but but the best thing to do is talk to the people that know that specific team very well instead of just you know general people. And and yeah, you get such great information. Yep, exactly. It's awesome. I love it. I love Twitter polls that are my, my favorite. I did one the other day. I was like, I don't know what I want for lunch today. So I put up a one hour poll, burger or sandwich and Twitter voted burger. I got a burger. So it's nice for See? even some non fantasy decisions sometimes. See? Yeah, you didn't you didn't have <laughs> mac and cheese on that uh, on that list. No way. Never. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Rebecca Jones. Hey, thanks a lot. This was fun. Yeah, thanks. Uh, happy to come on anytime. All right. Thanks a lot. I'll see you. Thanks for listening. We'll be back tomorrow with another episode. Thanks again to Dan Kingerski of PittsburghHockeyNow.com and Rebecca Jones of FantasyFootballStatistics.com. Talk to you later. Another episode is in the bag. <laughs>